Hello and welcome to another edition of Papo's Garage. Today we're doing the front suspension and hub bearing on a 2005 Vauxhall Corsa C. So, first of all, I'd uh, borrowed this off my mother. So it's actually my mother's car and it made some awful noises. And uh, yeah, she did say be gentle with it and I understand why now. The front hub bearing, and I suspect it was the near side and I was right, was well worn and I reckon that the suspension strut itself was uh, knackered. The spring was alright and as you can see the top strut mount uh, was well worn. That's not right. Saying off the wrong split pin. The cotter pin for my reason. No. Oh, that's totally wrong. And the luxuries of having a pit, you can reach stuff without lying on the floor. And I'm just hanging this brake caliper up. And the next thing to uh, undo was the trap rod end. Uh, this proved to be a big pain in the bum. You can see, yes, I can get the nut off. I need to get it out of the socket. I'll put it back on again, pull it off. Just gentle, just a couple of threads. And then the damn thing won't move. And so I'll get my ball joint splitter on it. Get it seated properly. Get it split. And the thing is, it won't split. I've completely forgotten. I'd worked on this car before. And I'd actually double nutted it. No amount of hammering and bloody screwing will this thing ever move as I hadn't removed the other nut. The realization's just coming over my face just about now. Any moment. There we go. I remember I'd actually threaded the bloody thing. So I uh, I double, I double knotted it. So damn thing comes back off again. And cut the bloody thing off. I was replacing them anyway, but there we are. This is one thing that you make a job a lot more difficult, a lot more time consuming than it actually should be. So once the trap rod end was removed, uh, next thing was to take off the ABS sensor and that also needed repair as the ABS sensor is actually plastic and had got a crack in it. So that would have to be repaired at a later stage. But I managed to get that out, which is a miracle. I might have... She goes.
I don't know why I bother removing these drop links uh, using uh, the spanner. I might as well just go straight to the angle grinder. Nope, get the angle grinder. Uh, not today. And just use a, uh, I call it my cold chisel, just to open up that uh, ball joint at the bottom of the hub. I said the beauties of having a pit actually get at it stood up. But a bit of persuasion, it will come off eventually. So just give it armor. There you, are, you can see it move. Excellent. That'll come out then. Right. Where's my big bag? All the spare bits I've got. I've got some brand new ones of those. Because they're exactly like the uh, the pandas. That does not sound good. Could also check whether this is uh, the shocker is knocking, and if it is. Right, got that off. It... That's acceptable. It looks very rusty, so does the spring, but it will clean up. I was able to remove the top because it was loose. But that bearing is definitely buggered. So, all right, all the bits. I've been doing a degreaser. Try to get some uh, hot water and get it started in the ultrasonic cleaner. There's all the bits we're going to keep. Doesn't matter whether it's metal or plastic, it'll clean it nonetheless. Uh, 
It's a 30 litre. This is way overboard. Go big or go home, eh? And here are the parts post cleaning. And after uh, having a lick of paint. Aren't it too bad? Good. And now to go and press the uh, bearing in. I did make a video about pressing the old one out, but even on this homemade uh, bearing press, hydraulic press, uh, it didn't want to move. I ended up hammering it out with a lump hammer and uh, and a proper uh, drift, which you'll see in a bit, it's a solid bar of uh, steel that fits perfectly into the hub. Uh, but to press the new one in, use the old bearing and uh, something just on top of the, uh, the hub to push it down. It's nearly there. Just running around the left. Now, when I put, took the uh, the dust shield off the uh, the hub, uh, a third of it was missing. So, I have to make a new one. Uh, 
and after the repair of the ABS sensor uh, and then putting it back in I had a new A2 stainless M5 or M6 bolt I think it might be an M6 and yeah just a little bit of copper slip on it copper ease ABS clamp done. Yes, apologies for its rough look, uh, but this is a piece of galvanised steel I've had knocking around the garage for years. I think it was part of the back boiler in the old uh, house. Right, this is the suspension now rebuilt. That's the heavy duty uh, drop link for the anti roll bar. New uh, trap rod end. New flimsy bit of galvanised steel made up as a splash guard. Everything else is alright. It don't move. I also got a little machine screw, counter sunk one. Desk. My well, desk is now clean, so we're going to put it back together. And thank you for watching Papo's Garage.